Sammy, 4-1 win tonight for the Scholars again. Uh, just sum up your thoughts on the game this evening. Good workout. Um, we uh, we penciled this game in to you know, hopefully, you know, like you say, see some of the 18s. Um, you know, also give the boys that haven't had many minutes this season a, a chance. Um, and it was a it was a good game, wasn't it? It was a good game. You know, I thought they were, they weren't bad. Um, but like I said in there, you know, we felt that we'd have a lot of the ball and we'd create a lot of chances, which we did. And uh, for me, it was you know we were comfortable most of the night. Um, could have scored a lot more. Um, but delighted for the three young boys to to come to come in, especially the keeper. Great, you know, mm. wasn't at fault for the goal. But you know, when he was called upon, he was fantastic. Ik comes on, you know, scores two goals. Got got an eye for a goal, so he's he's got a big future in the game. Um, and 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 Shadrach, Shadrach as well, you know, played right back, played left back, was comfortable. So delighted for for them boys because it's always good to get homegrown players through through mm. the football club, and we want to give the youth a chance at this at this football club. And if they if they're young enough, they're good enough. Um, I've always said that. Um, so for me. For me, it was a good workout. Another win. I wanted to go strong because I want to keep that winning feeling and that winning mentality. And uh, like I said before, we 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 just got to keep our standards high. And if we do that, then you know we're going to win more games than what we lose. Yeah. You mentioned the three youngsters that both started and came on today. How important is it to have that foundation of the youth coming through for Potter's Bowl? Definitely, it's massive for any football club. People want to see homegrown players coming through. When we come into the club, football club last year, me and Darren, you know, there wasn't no identity of of uh, behind the scenes. Of obviously, you know, the, they had twenty threes, but we didn't really see much of them. You know, the link between the first team and them, you know, wasn't 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 particularly great. So we said, look, this year, you know, we want to make sure that we get rid of maybe the twenty threes and, and have a look at the eighteens because if they're eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. And they're good, and you know, and they and they're good enough. Then you know, like I said, they're going to get a chance. Mm. We've had we've had three of the boys on the bench most weeks, so they've been a credit credit to themselves. They've trained, they trained really well. They deserve their chance tonight. And like I said, all three of them have, have took their chance. And you know, the future's the future's bright for them. Um, and like I said, we want we want them to now push the mm. people starting. Um, and it was a great, it's a great, you know, Sam at Ritchie, you know, who's come in, was playing step seven last year. Um, fantastic lad, you know, goes and scores tonight, goes from strength to strength. So delighted for him. Um, Man has come back from, from being away. Um, you know, it's great to get 90 minutes into his leg, into his leg, sorry. Um, give another 45 minutes to Dijon, you know, mm. for his, for, you know, to try and get him up to speed and he's, he's been fantastic the last two games and you know five goals in two in two games is, is, is a fantastic return and like I said we've got competition from places now people are pushing for that starting spot come come Sunday um, we're getting more fans through the gate which is which is great and we've, we've, we've become an attractive attractive football club and that's what we wanted when we took over last year I think we had 23 points you know, we started this season fantastically well, and you know, got 18 points in 18 in, in eight, 18 points in in eight games is is a fantastic return. So, we know it's only a start, but you know, it's a fantastic start, and we just got to keep building on it now. Just quickly, we saw Calvin Dixon go off quite early on, which what seemed to be some sort of leg or foot injury. Is there any update on him? Currently? Yeah, he just he, he felt tight coming into tonight's game. He said he might when he run, he might feel a little bit looser and. He said, it, you know, it, it weren't really going away, so we didn't really want to take that um, precaution. Really, yeah. more of more of the words that just said, "Look, come off, and we'll we'll, we'll put the young lad on." Mm. Um, you know, he's been a big player for us. He's been fantastic, great. You know, had an unbelievable game centre half on Saturday. Um, you know, and he's very versatile, and you need you need them players in this team. Um, so yeah, now it's more of a case of you know this wrap him up in cotton wool and yeah. same with Monville at the end. You know, just had a dead dead glue and just said, you know, last 10 minutes, let's go down to 10 men and, you know, not risk anyone. Yeah, that makes sense. So, pushing on in this tournament, mm. is this something that you believe Potts Bar can go far in? Yeah, definitely. We want to win every competition we enter, you know, whether it's the FA Trophy, you know, the, the, the FA Cup, you've got to have ambition, you know, we're not, realistically, we're not going to win the FA Cup, but we want to win every game that we are we play in. Same with this one. Listen, we want to we want we want to win cups. We want to win leagues. We want to win titles. No matter what it is, we want to win games of football. Um, and like I said, we've got a, we're having a, a good habit at the minute of winning games. You know, whether that's late, 
late, you know, when we score early because we keep going. Mm. But we've got that winning mentality, and you can't beat that at a football club. Once you've got that, then players then roll into into the next game knowing that we're going to win. You know, and I feel that we've got that bit between our teeth this year that you know we can really, you know, whatever game we turn up, no matter who the opponent is, we're going to go and win the game. Um, and you need that. You need that belief. You know, we've 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 brought some big characters to the to this club and. You know, it's it's it's, it's good, good, good. It's a good moment to be in at this football club at the minute. And like I said, there's a real buzz, and we just got to keep it going. Only us. We keep our standards high, you know, and then hopefully good things will come. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Sammy. Good Cheers. luck on the next game. Cheers. Thank you.